and the heaven has landed. Aarhus, Denmark. Aarhus, in the middle of a street. Aarhus. Right, that's the train station. Straight down there is the, uh, towards the old town. And the 925X bus stop, which is the airport bus, is directly there, just outside of the station. But be warned, the actual bus fare, single as well, is about 17 quid in our money. Which, uh, which bearing in mind, I only, I only paid 12 quid for the flight. So it's a five a dearer than the actual flight was, and it's only a single. You know, years ago, they're getting the long ship to go away and rob someone. Now they just do it here on their buses. You know, I, don't know, I don't know what Olaf driving the bus just didn't have a horned helmet on and be done with it. On these separate crossings here, they've got Viking, Viking uh, traffic symbols. That's the red one, so you're not across. Go on, go green. There's the green Viking, so yeah, you can cross. This is the house of the oldest man in Denmark, apparently a sailor and he lived to uh, 146 years old. He was involved in three battles against the Swedes, he was captured by pirates and spent 15 years as a slave. And he just drove straight away, thank you very much. cathedral at the front here this was originally a, a pagan burial ground but the um, they built a wooden church on, on top of it to uh, keep the old pagan beliefs down then when that burnt down this uh, stone cathedral was built on, on top of it in the 12th century it's the tallest one in Denmark and it's uh, 96 meters high now that 146 year old sailor we were speaking about earlier he was actually uh, kept inside this cathedral here a mama fired him and put him on show but the legend has it because he lived to such a long age people come, were coming in and taking strands of his beard out pull him, pulling it out thinking that it was going to bring him luck and long life so after a while they had to re-mummify him and stick him up here, completely out of the way, so that people couldn't in interfere with him. By the way, this church is called Saint Clemens, who was uh, the, the patron saint of sailors. I must say, there's some lovely uh, detail in this cathedral here. I don't know what the story is with, with that fella, but it didn't look like he had a lot of luck. Geez, you got to ask yourself what's going on with some of these architectural decisions here. The shape of some of these buildings. Do you know what? I've covered this before, but look at that beautiful old building there. And now we're going to compare it to the modern. I thought this was a bleeding cruise liner when I first see it. Look at the shape of that. It's the old against the new. I know what I'd choose. There's a strange one there. I know he's popular, but a big mural of Jeremy Clarkson in the dock here in Aarhus. That just seems a bit weird. It's a bit like Canary Wolf here. Get that sort of feeling. Underneath all of these uh, towers, you've got shops and restaurants and that. There's a cafe over there. Different, I'll give it that. 
This is the famous uh, such uh, building here, which they call the Iceberg. It was a bit designed in the shape of an iceberg. Don't know about that, but. There's actually a, quite a fair sized harbour here, all full of sailing yachts. That's all the way back there. That's the hotel for the night, the Hotel Atlantic. Time for a bit of dinner. Let's go and uh, see what delights they've got. a chew bowl in here which was 50 of their things which is about six pounds in our proper money I don't even think it's a point to be honest The gold mine this place. There's about 50 food places, uh, maybe a dozen places where you can get a drink, a beer, wine. It's quite expensive compared to England, but you know, there's not even uh, all these people, there's thousands of people here, there's not a single security, no bouncer, nothing. So you just couldn't have, you couldn't have things like this in England. There'd be fights breaking out straight away. It's a shame, but that's the truth of it. These machines here, when you're finished with your beer, you take your empty glass back, scan your card, put the empty glass in the, in the uh, slot there, and it refunds you five of their things. Good idea, I suppose. Let's see if I can do it. Bathroom, shower, that worked fine. Double bed, TV, coffee and tea, even a little balcony with a view of the town. That's the cathedral over there, that's that food market there. The other side is the, uh, the sea where the docks are. But this was uh, about 60 quid. That's with that buffet breakfast, so quite pleased with this one. Museum, you've got self service, buy your own tickets, there's no one here. And the reason there's no one here is because it's absolutely tiny. 
there's literally a couple of broken pottery pots and that's it not even a fours hammer on display awful absolutely awful they are the usual thing cafe oscar the lefty bookshop this road where it's in is 12 quid for a cup of coffee there's the hypocrisy of these communists posters down here there's that calf just up there and I'll say all these uh, shops down here 12 quid for a cup of coffee unbelievable on that building there you've got this big mural of the old iconic uh, as we know it nuclear power no thank sign and uh, that house there was where these two 21 year old students actually come up with a design this is they first done 500 badges, sold all them out, then uh, it just went global after that. This is a road called Mollerstein. It's got all these little quirky houses down it. That's the art museum up there, and that uh, that thing at the top is what they call the Rainbow Bridge, which you can actually walk around. I frost. That thing as well. Online, where I've seen different videos, and they're saying it's free. It's not free. I'll just put it down. Like Twenty-five euro for a ticket to so walk around this art gallery and go up in that rainbow thing on the top there. So I don't know where they stick that. This is inside them gamut. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But this is the, uh, the reconstructed uh, village of Aarhus would have been years ago. Telephone box. I change into my Superman outfit now. Yeah, I remember when I was at school, one of the teachers had a car exactly the same as this. Didn't have the didn't have the pillar, but used to have all the stickers all over it. Never had a gasoline. Susie Quattro, Slade, and the Sweet. This goes for all different time zones with the buildings, where you can actually go inside the buildings when you're in. The buildings are, are rigged out inside, how they would have been back in the day. Back there, there's different shops from the 1970s. I've so just had a look at it. It's quite interesting, to be fair. Well done. Look at this painting here in this room. Convert to Jesus or face death. I wonder what's in this room. done as like a 1970s uh, street a couple of blasts from the past here blockbuster videos it's 7-eleven see here your Danish kitchen Painting your kitchen, 
your shell. Never seen that before. I suppose you could do away with the sink where you can take your dirty plates in with you, couldn't you? That's strange. It's the botanical gardens. It goes right over to there. You can walk away through it. It's free, so it's packed with people. Uh, a lot of them got kids running around as well, but it's all right, but a lot of people in there. This is inside the botanical gardens. You wouldn't want to fall over one of these, I think. That lovely building there is the theatre. It's got a ferocious looking dragon there on the top looking down. Buck and chips. That's about, about a tenner. So I'm in, a, an, in another pub now, right, right pretty much in the, in the main drag, and they've got, the, they've got the football on, the Men's City Newcastle game. And even in here, it's only about, works well, about four quid a pint in our, in our money. Really surprised the uh, reasonable the beer is over here. Quick shout out for this pub, four kills. Cheapest one I've found so far, about three quid a pint. It's right opposite dock one. Here's some fly. Thank God I brushed my safe. Anyway, back at the airport. Just got dropped off by the bus. Just a word of warning on the bus. Get on there quick, because it does get really packed. And it's about a 50 minute journey. And there was people going there and coming back just now who had to stand in the aisle for all that. And if you're paying 17 quid, you don't want to be standing in the aisle. So, goodbye to Horus. That was, that was all right there for a couple of days, uh, definitely worth, worth seeing. It was also a lot cheaper than what I thought it would be for a Scandinavian country. And uh, a lot of cases, a, a pint of beer, for example, was cheaper there than it was back home. Um, that surprised me, I must say. It was a shame by the traffic lights. There was nothing relating to the Viking heritage of the city. I thought there might have been a statue or something, but... I guess they want to erase that part of the history, what they do everywhere in Europe. Um, no sign of druggies or crime or nothing there. They, uh, they don't even look the bikes up here. Everyone wishes you a great day, and they seemingly mean it when they say it as well, not just like a robotic shop assistant, you know, have a nice day. All in all, a nice, clean, and safe, safe city to visit. Yeah, quite enjoyed ours.